Hi everyone, it's Raisa. Happy New Year, happy 2022. This is really weird for it to be 2022. It's like weird, but it's not weird. We all knew it was coming, but now that it's here, it's like, whoa, it's 2022. I'm very excited for 2022. I think it'll be different for me specifically just because I'm graduating this year. I'm a senior, I go to RISD, and I am gonna be a full-fledged adult, but it's not scary for me because I've always wanted to be a full-fledged adult. I'm like, honestly, it's been past overdue. I'm like ready to live my life. That's what we're all trying to do when we're 20, when we're 30, when we're 40, when we're 50. I'm just trying to live my life, okay? Simply, that's it. Anyways, let's stop talking about this now. I wanted to talk about what I got for Christmas. <laughs> I honestly got a lot of stuff for Christmas this year. I wasn't expecting that, but my family and my friends were very generous, so I appreciate y'all. Honestly, let's start with literally all of the makeup I got. I got all this from my brother's girlfriend. The first thing I got, this is this Violet Voss Violet Sunset Palette. Let's see what it looks like. It's so pretty. I'm honestly so excited I got so much makeup this year because I love wearing makeup. That's simply it. That's simply what I like to do. I also got this Jelly's Beauty. Never heard of this brand. Double-sided wing stamp eyeliner. It's actually pretty good. It's like very, very uh, pigmented and uh, very stays on for a very long time. So there's like one side. This side is the actual eyeliner part. It's literally like a mark. Then there's like a, there's a stamp. I don't think I'll ever use this stamp, but it's nice that there's two sides. But this part is like what I'm excited for. Like this is just like, whoa, like you can get thick or very thin like that's crazy and also it's just pink and it's it's cute and then i got this tint lash and brow duo so this part is the lash this lash is actually so good and this brow tint i've tried it too it's pretty good as well my brother's girlfriend just gave me a, this is like hers but she's just like do you want it and i was like Sure. And this is just a correcting concealer by like Dragon Beauty, Nikita Dragon. And then she gave me these little beauty blenders, which actually I've been meaning to get beauty blenders, but they're so expensive for some reason. And then my brother's girlfriend, she didn't buy these for me. She just, she got this from her friend and she didn't want it. And then she was like, do you want these? And I was like, um, yeah. I don't even know how to pronounce this. Ace Beauty. It's called Vintage Dawn. But look at this. Look at that. Girl, that is so beautiful. I've been trying to get more into like colorful makeup and experiment more with my makeup But I've always been scared to wear eyeshadow because I think people are gonna like say something about but it But honestly like nobody really says anything about it. Nobody really cares And if somebody says something about it most of the time it's always like oh I like your makeup So it's like it doesn't matter and then I know how you pronounce this. This is called the velvet palette These colors look so so like Decadent. It looks like frosting to me. Like it looks so nice. I'm so excited. And then this one is another Ace Beauty, but this is called Nostalgia. 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 Why did I say that weird? Beautiful. Oh, and also my friend, my my roommate, she gave me my present yesterday, and she gave me this coaster, which I'm very excited about actually, because when I get my new apartment, I don't want to have matchy cups and sets and bowls and stuff like that. Like I want it all to look different. So this is like my first in my collection, which I'm very excited about. I feel like an adult because I got a coaster <laughs> for a Christmas gift. And then Mary, my roommate Mary, got me chocolate with pistachios in it, and I think this is Turkish chocolate because she was in Turkey for um, winter break. And then then she got me a Harry Potter weekly end to-do list, which I was also very excited about because me and Mary are very obsessed with Harry Potter and we recite the movies a lot. Well, specifically the first movie, Sorcerer's Stone. We know some of the scenes very well and I feel like we do the accents very well. <laughs> These are all just very thoughtful gifts. So it's very grateful for them. And then my brother, I made him get this for me actually. My brother gave me The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game because I have a Switch. I'm very excited about this. I've been wanting to get this game. I was going to get it for myself. But like these Switch games are so fucking expensive. But this one was pre-owned $27 at GameStop. So I think the universe wanted me to get this game. So. Also, my older brother got me this Billie Eilish shirt because, and I've worn it, so it's like kind of like not pretty right now, but my whole family knows I'm a Billie stan. I have no shame. I'm very proud of it. Very confident. Literally like half of my wardrobe is just like Billie merch. So thank you brother for adding to my collection. Thank you. What else is there? Oh, also I got the Billie Eilish perfume. I don't have it right now because I literally left it in Miami. So they're gonna send it to me. But it smells so good. It's like the perfect scent. I'm so excited that I have that perfume. Okay, I think that was all I got for Christmas. Oh, also that's not all I got for Christmas. I also got these earrings. This was a gift from me to me. These are the best dress with en route jewelry. I really wanted one of her earrings and I was like, these ones. I want these ones. 
And these are beautiful. I feel so like, luxurious in them. So now on to my New Year's resolutions. I'm normally not the type of person to like do a lot of New Year's resolutions and like believe in all of that type of stuff because I kind of just feel like if you want to change your life or like improve your life in some sort of way, like you can do it at whatever time of the year you can. Like there's no rule that it has to be like at the beginning of the year. But I felt hopeful for this year and I felt very strongly about things that I wanted to change. So I was just like, let's write some New Year's resolutions. So I wrote some in my, my bullet journal. The lurk. 1917 bullet journal i didn't pronounce that right i know I honestly i don't even have that many exciting new year's resolutions they're like very basic but i'm the type of person that like i can't i really cannot overestimate myself and my abilities because otherwise i'm not going to do it at all i try to be very very lenient with myself so my first one read six books this year and there's 12 months in a year but i was like let's just do six because i know i know for a fact i'm not going to read a book a month i know i'm not i don't read books that often so like why would i read a book a month all of a sudden and then i wrote down the six books I want to read because if I don't then I'm just gonna like the decision of like figuring out what book I want to read is like complicated for me and I don't know then I'm just not gonna do it at all the books I want to read The Great Gatsby a classic book I just like want to read at least like one classic book because I mean I'm not I don't really like classic books I think like most of the time they're like really fucking boring but The Great Gatsby seems a little bit more interesting to me cultish normal people I know that's from Sally Rooney Kim Ji Young born 1982 Six of Crows and then this one book called What They Don't Teach in Art School, which is like a non-fiction book. And then I have also have bonus books like Shadow and Bone, Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang, and The Heart Principle by Helen Huang, and like pretty much like the Quiz Quotient. I think it's the series. It's a series of books, of three books. I don't know. And then the second one, I want to work out at least once a week because like I said, if I tell myself I want to work out like three times a week or like every single day a week, something that's just like a little bit too much, I'm just not going to do it at all. And then I'm going to feel bad about myself. And then I feel like I'm like incapable and I can't do it. So I'm just like, let's just work out once a week. Let's work out on Saturdays when I have time and it doesn't even have to be anything too serious. I can literally just do yoga and I'll feel better about myself. And hopefully like throughout the year, if I work out once a week and I'm able to like successfully do that and then I can like work it up to like two times a week, three times a week, then that'll be good for me. Cause then I'm, you know, taking care of my body and taking care of my mental health as well. So it's very important to me. Third one, get ready every morning. That's pretty much just like mentally for me like if I get ready every morning and like I do my makeup and I put like, on clothes and I like, am ready for the day then I feel like mentally okay like it makes me a little bit mentally better even if I'm having a shit day it just like boosts my mood a little bit even if I'm literally not doing anything that day I've noticed that it makes me feel good so I'm just like let's try to do this every morning so I can feel that good every morning number four I want to start my homework the day it's assigned because I don't do that I just like I start my homework like the day before it's due I don't have to complete it the day it's signed but i can at least start it and like at least do some number five write in my bullet journal every morning and night this is essential for me mainly because i really like writing in my bullet journal and also again it helps me with my mental health and it helps me remember the day because i have like memory problems as well like, i don't ever feel like i'm existing so if i write in my bullet journal and i'm just like if i write down like what i'm feeling or like what to do that day and like just check in with myself morning and night then like it'll help me feel a little bit better so yeah that's that's it thank you so much for watching <laughs> i hope you guys have a good year let's hope it's a good one live our fucking life that's all i want to do man i just want to live my life i'm excited for this year and hopefully it's a good year if it's not whatever we have you know we have the next year and the next year and the next year whatever anyways that is all i have to say thank you so much for watching this vlog i will have more vlogs coming soon because it is my senior year and i just i want to vlog more and remember it because it's a little it's a little bittersweet thank you for watching bye